Hey everybody and welcome back to the farm and today we're working again on this GMD 500 and the problem I got now is I got a little oil leak on this bearing uh, spindle I'm hoping it's the o-ring but it's probably one of these spindles that I replaced the bearings with a non sealed bearing and it may need to be repacked with grease to keep the, the gear oil from coming out First thing we gotta do is uh, take this top off. There's four bolts here and there's four bolts that holds this hat on and we can get to that spindle. I think they're supposed to be 15. Let me try, it may be standard, I doubt it. Well, 9 16 fits it, but I don't see how it's standard and everything else on this thing metric. I think it's probably just wore out. Yeah, let me go get my air in. Air in. Yeah, Yeah. Pretty sure these are supposed to be metric 15s headed, 15 millimeter headed anyway. I'm gonna go get that 15. I hate to strip these heads. All this hardware needs to be replaced. I can find me some bolts. These are a little short metric bolts. Now, them down in there is pretty big. I think they're 18 millimeters. Before I grab the pull hand, I'm going to try my other nano. It's a half inch drive, I got a adapter on it. shit. Craftsman all the way. I don't know who makes it, probably Ingersoll Rand, but uh, it's a good good little impact. Right, grab my bolts out of here. I'm gonna change blades on this thing too, but I'm gonna fix this leak first. All right, well these four bolts out here, this thing should just pop off. Grab that pull handle. 
thing has been on here since I rebuilt it, so that can be a little sticky. All right. So you can see a lot of hay under this mess. Pretty good little oil leak right here. I noticed it last time I cut cut hay it was, was leak. I don't know if it leaked. It leaked over the winter. I don't I don't remember noticing it, but anyway, I'm a, I'm almost 100 percent certain that it's leaking right here at this bearing and not right here at this seal. That's because these bearings are non-sealed bearings, and they're just packed with grease. And uh, once the grease gets uh, quit sealing, the oil can just run right out. Besides, these typically kind of uh, are beveled down a little bit. When you pick it up, all the oil is going to run down to the end anyway, so that don't help anything. But, yep, I'm gonna say it is definitely the, the bearing itself. I've got some bearings ordered, and these things are a little bit of a pain to press out, press in. So I don't know if I'll do it today. I need to cut some hay. I got one little cutting hay to do, and I'm gonna be done this year. So I'd like to get it done. And it looks like I got a few days here, less chance of rain, the way it usually is. It's, uh, you only have a small window of opportunity when you start working on something to get something done. I'm pretty sure I ordered them bearings and they'll probably be in tomorrow. And actually I believe I've got a spare Spare old spindle. I think I'm gonna go see if I can find it. I may just swap it out. Go ahead and put the old, another bearing in that other spindle and swap it out and just do one at a time as I need to. Alright, let me go find the spindle. Alright, here's my old spindle and uh. I believe it's going to be okay. This is just one we had. We replaced them. I don't know, it sounds kind of, kind of dry. It's, uh, yeah, this is a bit dry in there. It's a bit dry, but I think uh, as far as using it one time, one last time, I think it'd be all right. Now it does have a little corrosion, so I want to clean that up. I've got a new overing for it. So let's knock that old corrosion off there. We'll just use a, you know, one of these, what you call it? Grab my glasses. And just knock, just clean the edges up a little bit. Glass is fogging up. I guess the camera will too. All right, that should be good enough. We'll find that uh, uh, O-ring. Get that O-ring put on here. Grab that O-ring remover tool. This O-ring has been on here a while. This little old tool right here will do it. Got a little crook in it. That's a handy little joker. That old ring's pretty dry. So I ordered a new O-ring for the other one. So, no biggie. We'll just use it on this one. I'll have to, uh, probably just have to order some more. Just for my records. Uh, this is the O-ring part number. Let's see if I can get it in the shot here. Right there.
told that guy I didn't want to see him again for a while, but maybe next year I'm going to... I went ahead and ordered the, the old rings, but I mean the uh, new bearings, but I can work on this over the winter along with everything else I got to do. Yeah, she sounds a bit dry in there. But I believe this is one of the old sealed, sealed units. And these jokers, if you have, to, these are not serviceable according to Coon. They're 300 and something bucks a piece. You can get sealed bearings. It's hard. And when I get some, I post a video. Uh, the bearings in these fit a Peugeot or a Citroen front wheel bearing, but it's hard to find them. At least in America, it's hard to find them. And I found some on Amazon that I'm hoping will work, but since I haven't tried it yet, I'm not going to give. I'm not going to tell you about them yet. Uh, of course, if you've been looking, if you've got one of these machines, uh, eventually you're going to end up having to do something with these spindles. And like I said, these are over 300 a piece to replace them. Now we did replace a few in the past when they were a lot cheaper. I think in the past they were about 100 bucks. And uh, everything has doubled and tripled in price in the last 20 years. This is a 92 model, so it's 25 years old. So, let's get this old one off, get this one on. We'll take a look at the old one. Just four bolts. Holds it on. Should come right off. Look, these are 19 millimeter also. And these are lock nuts. lost that impact wrench <clears throat> and I was looking for it and couldn't find it and I finally <clears throat> found it again but I've been having to use them damn nanos and uh, I run across this thing the other day and I'm so happy I'd forgot about it a while ago I would have grabbed it first all right so in here somewhere there's a little notch should be able to get something into. There it is. One on each side right here. Get loosened up and should just pull straight up. Of course, I should have mentioned you always want to make sure that uh, you knew how how you had it. Now I had mine about centered like this right here. About like that. haven't found the right spot yet. Right. <laughs> Apparently it only goes one way. You always, when you go back with the hat, make sure it's in the opposite direction as the, as the one beside it where you're going to hit. factory specs, whichever way they are. Now we're ready to go back on with the hat here. So, like I said, you want to be careful about which direction you're going. I, I like to kind of put it, I believe these two turn the same. Let's make sure though. Yeah, so go this way. 
But see that would hit right there. So I'm going to turn this one straight. I'm going to turn this one sideways. Anything we don't want them to hit. Leave that'll work. Double check. Bolt it. And then I'm going to try to get these blades out and replace these blades. I know it'll be the last cutting this year, but I've been using these, these blades is probably two or three years old, and I've had trouble trying to get them out with them nanos. And really, you ain't gonna hold this thing and break that blade loose with a pull hand. Uh, so unless you got a good impact, you're just gonna have to either heat that nut up or, uh, or do something. got this gun at its high setting, but I don't know, I don't have any idea what torque specs are on this thing. Alright, now we'll go ahead and stick the top back on here. I believe these nuts here are 18 millimeter, I'm grabbing me an 18 millimeter socket. But, uh, get this top back on, we'll see if we can get, this, get these blades off here. I right, ain't got a whole lot of time left on this card, but uh, what I did, I just cleaned that, that out. And uh, we shall see if this... If this uh, impact's strong enough to ink it off. Well, it's strong enough to round that bolt off. Enough. I might have to break out the torch. I'm going to see if this will work. Clean this geek out from around it. This is what happens. Now, I used to take this thing apart, take the blades off and sharpen them. And last year and this year, I've just been sharpening them on the machine. And what happens is when you don't exercise these nuts, they start wearing out. You see this one, maybe you can see this one right here, how it's wore down just from the grass hitting it and this thing, this whole hat's about wore out. This blade here ain't in near as bad shape as that other one. That's some, that, that side there could be reused somewhere on one of these other ones. But this one. I always, I used to always replace the nuts and bolts every year. They got some daggum expensive. But I tried to go with two years. I just didn't get around to it. But nuts and bolts for this thing is about thirty, thirty dollars, thirty something dollars. I guess I need to put the blade in there, don't I? And these have a little slot cut in them. They need to be uh, the uh, they need to be straight, straight up and down. You have to hold the bottom of them. Uh, man, now I gotta get this other one off. Man, this thing got grass all up in it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but that'll be another video. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and